Convention, Convention attendees reported that their cards were used to purchase clothes and even one unknown bold purchase of $100,000. However, this brings up a larger issue of day-to-day -day credit card security. Investigators discovered that the breaches did not occur inside the convention center, but rather from local businesses. Some Boston residents say that they use their credit cards freely when purchasing items, and they do not think about identity theft. You don't really think, you don't really think it's going to happen to you, seriously, because it's just so easy. You know, type your little thing in, it says it's secure, and type your happy password, and oh, go along like little happy man, and then find out that someone's you know, charged a trip to Aruba or, you know, buying dinner here somewhere by the convention center. So it's, it's, you really get a false sense of security, and I don't really think you think about it until it happens to you. Hunrod is visiting from Iceland, but she says she is very cautious when purchasing with her credit card after money was stolen from her husband's credit card recently. Yeah, I felt safe, but now, uh, recently, for example, uh, money was stolen from my husband's credit card, then you realize perhaps this isn't, is not as secure as you, as you thought. So nowadays, I, I, I think I'm more aware about the security issues. Others say that people have become so accustomed to using their credit cards that they forget about protecting themselves from theft. Oh, it's terrible. It's awful. It's our money and, you know, it's, it's something that needs to be very enclosed and no one should be able to get to the information. Obviously, I think most people would think the same, right? I contacted the Massachusetts Convention Center Authority and we are still waiting for comment.